Now, here's something interesting that you're going to see. When we're looking at the stock, it was trading at 9.59. Okay, we're looking at the 10 strike call right here. Now, the 10 strike calls closed at 105. Now, what is that 105? If we sell that 10 call for a dollar five on a stock that's trading for 959, that equates to 11% of the stock value. In other words, that call is trading for about 11% of the value of the actual stock. Then we're going to have to go out and buy a put, and we're going to buy a much cheaper put. And again, people, this is just a basic overview. We're not giving you a do-it-yourself kit right here, so there's a lot of criteria that we put into this strategy to keep you safe, and I'm not giving you the exact criteria. I'm trying to give you an overview of exactly how the strategy works. Okay? Now, when we were doing the webinar, we gave our students constant updates, and you saw that we were filled. We showed them a fill, and actually... When we got filled at 109, we actually got filled at 110, a penny better than we anticipated. So we were originally trying to sell it at 112. We got filled. We lowered our price to 109, and we got filled at 110. Then you're going to see over the course of several trading days, we changed our position around, and we kept giving our students updates of what is going on with the stock and what we plan on doing and how we're going to manage it so that they could see and learn how to trade this powerful, powerful strategy almost real time. And we found that that's the best way to learn. Going out and teaching you something in the classroom and having it stagnant from something that happened many, many, many months ago is still a great learning tool, but we found that our students when it's learn much better when they're seeing the stuff ticking real time in front of them that way they can sort of feel like it's an actual real trade and there's no better way to learn now really that is all there is to the strategy we're going to sell a vertical spread in the puts to buy the stock once we buy the stock well we're probably not going to buy the stock until probably expiration day unless there's a um, early exercise but for the most part especially with stocks the only day you're going to really end up buying the stock is on expiration. Now, once we buy that stock, we're naked long stock. So what do we have to do? Well, the options that we work in have expired, so we have to go out to the next month, buy another put, sell a call, and keep repeating that until the stock is either taken away or we made enough money where we want to get out and go into a different name or basically the volatility in the options has collapsed so much that we are no longer getting the returns that we wanted and are forced to go into a different name. But really, the key to this strategy is the criteria. Okay? You guys know just enough right now to be dangerous. You understand how the concept works, but what you don't understand is how did we pick TiVo? Why did we pick TiVo instead of Microsoft or, or Apple or Google. Everybody we know right now wants to trade Google, but it doesn't work in Google right now. It was working in TiVo and maybe 15, 20 other stocks. So we picked TiVo. Did we even know what TiVo did? Have we been following TiVo? No, but it met our criteria. And, you know, some people fall in love with stocks. You know, they just want to sit there and trade Google or Baidu or Coke because Warren Buffett trades Coke. And our philosophy at Random Walk is you never fall in love with a stock. What stocks do we like? The ones we're making money in. Which ones do we hate? The ones we're not making money in. So we didn't tell you how we picked TiVo. We didn't tell you which options gave you the 10%. We didn't tell you what month to trade them in, okay? Some stocks you're going to be trading them with maybe a week to go to expiration, some six weeks to expiration, some two months. All that depends on it, the volatility of the stock, the stock price, and other things that we put into our criteria in the essentials course. Also, we didn't tell you what to do if the stock runs higher. We didn't tell you what to do if the stock sells off. 
And a lot of our students who were first learning this strategy got a little bit nervous because we sold the put spread in TiVo, and immediately after we sold the put spread, the stock started going down. Now, when <clears throat> excuse me, when you buy a put spread, you want to see the stock go down. And that's how you make money on a put spread. But we sold this put spread. So where do we want the stock to go? That's right. We want it to go up. So we want it to go up, but it went down. And some of our students who were first learning this said, hey, you know what? They were writing us and calling us and everything and said, hey, you guys sold a put spread in TiVo and the stock's a dollar lower. Aren't you scared? What should we be doing? And he said, just go back to your book and follow the criteria. This is not a bad thing. We're okay based on the criteria. We also then tell you what to do if the stock does nothing. And you know what? Sometimes with, with, with collars, if your stock does nothing, that's the worst possible scenario. You want your stock to do something. You want it to go down huge or up huge, preferably up huge. But the worst thing that can sometimes happen with the collar is you pay a little bit of money for the collar and the stock does nothing. And every single month you keep rolling it and rolling it and rolling it and nothing happens. With the five-year millionaire, that's great. We hope the stock does nothing forever. Okay? So what we didn't give you is the criteria. And as all of our textbooks, all of our seminars, all of our home study courses, webinars, everything we have has our proprietary step-by-step -step criteria. And here's an example of it right now. Okay, you'll see on step one, select the stock. And it goes about and gives you several paragraphs on how to select the right stock. Step two, step three, step four. Some of these things we teach have 25, 30 different steps to help put you in the best possible position. We can't guarantee you're going to make money every single time. As a matter of fact, if our students make money 50% of the time, and lose money 50% of the time, as long as they're following our criteria, they should be up money over the long run. And if you look at our website, you'll actually see under webinars, you go to past performance, you'll see the past performance of our previous webinars, you'll see that we're only right as professionals 50% of the time, yet the webinars are making money. Every single webinar semester we had has made money so far, and we're only right 50% of the time. So when you hear these stories about, you know, follow our system and be right 79% of the time, if you ever hear that, you know you're being sold or you're being lied to. Or the guy traded three times or four times, five times, and quit. The best ones are when they just trade four trades, got lucky that three out of four were winners instead of two out of four. They quit, and now they have a 75% winning ratio. It's crazy. It's misleading. It's something we don't believe in. We're, we're actually embarrassed about it, that it actually even occurs, and we'll do everything we can to stay away from that. We're telling you right now you're going to have losing trades, and probably 50% of your trades will be losers. The key is to have less losers than <clears throat> we are, excuse me, to have less losses on your losers than profits you make on your winners. 